and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Random Champion Casual Friday. This is where we determine random champion pairings for us to play these different decks. We're going to be playing four decks today with the random champions. So let's get to it. So we're going to be playing two champions per deck. And to determine who those are going to be, we are going to spend our Wheel of Champions. All right, so a little bit of warning before I spin this. If you're somebody who suffers from bright lights uh, affecting you, you may want to look away because it is a little bit bright whenever the wheel spins. So there's one champ, you know, there's 75 champions in Legends of Runeterra. Each one of these little things is a champion. I wish it would say the actual champion name on the wheel, but it doesn't. That's unfortunate. I think it's because it's just too many options. But let's go ahead and spin it. It will give us a champion name. And this will be our first champion for the deck. We got Hecarim. Okay, we had Hecarim last week. But we'll, we had Hecarim with Sivir last week. We're probably going to have a different pairing. So who will Hecarim... Who will we pair Hecarim with for our first deck? Teemo! Wow, Hecarim Teemo. Okay, well that's going to be our first deck. <laughs> Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for our second deck. That's going to be... That'll be a deck right there. Okay, we got Leona. Leona's pretty good. I think Leona's underrated. I think we can make a good Leona deck, but let's see who Leona will get paired with with these random champion combinations. LeBlanc. All right, Leona LeBlanc. That sounds cool. Okay, Leona LeBlanc. And so what we're going to do is after, after making these combinations, we're going to spend some time building the different decks, then we'll come back um, and play them. So... Y'all, of course, already knew about the Hecarim Teemo, because that's, you know, this is, that's going to be the first one here. Or, I guess we'll probably call it Teemo Hecarim. So, you can kind of think in your mind, we got Fiora. You can kind of think in your mind what the deck may look like, or, you know, and things like that. And then, then you can come back and see, and I'll uh, bring the deck out and explain, you know, like, what cards we're playing and why and stuff. And so, you can see if the deck is like what you expect. Fiora Victor. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to try to get a good amount of protection in for both Fiora and for Victor. Okay, both champions can kind of win the game on their own, Not so we could work with that. Who else we got? Swain. All right, so this is deck number four. It's going to be Swain plus somebody. We've played tons. Swain's probably the champion I've played more than any other champion, honestly, so kind of anything... Swain, Caitlyn. Caitlyn Swain? Yeah, we've played Caitlyn Swain before. Yeah, we've played Caitlyn Swain. Okay, so those are going to be our four decks for today. Caitlyn Swain, Fiora Victor, Leona LeBlanc, and Timo Hecarim. All right, so we have to start building those. We're going to start with Timo Hecarim up first. All right, y'all on YouTube, we'll be right back with Timo Hecarim. And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Hecarim. We've built our decks. Here we go. We're going to have three control decks, one mid-range deck with the Leona LeBlanc. As far as Teemo Hecarim goes, uh, decided to kind of make it a Teemo control like, like we usually have with that with your Puff Caps and your Hexcore Foundry. Puff Cap Peddler, lots of spells, and we're going to have like Hecarim kind of play the role of Sejuani, just kind of coming in and, and being a, a big overwhelm thing that attacks for a whole lot to finish the game, uh, you know, with, with the Puff Cap damage. That's what our Hecarim is going to be doing here. But of course, it, uh, since we're playing Shadow Isles, we get good removal and some Nexus healing. Um, we're we're going to have one Vengeance and two Withering Mist at the top end, but really it's like the, the cheaper removal that we get in here with Vile Feast go hard we're gonna be trying go hard um because since we're a foundry deck we're gonna be drawing extra cards every single round hopefully that helps us with the, the go hards um also with foundry you want to have cheap cards and so go hard is a cheap card but then the other thing that really makes this a good go hard deck i think is station archivist being able to play these archivists look at the top five create a fleeting copy of a spell hopefully that will get us more go hards right because if we're putting more go hards into our deck Hopefully we have one in the top five, so that that could be a pretty nice combo there. Um, so that's so that's kind of what we have here. 
A um, couple burgeoning sentinels to give us an early unit that you know could be a three-three fearsome that will hopefully get some good nexus damage in because you know we want we want to like get chip shot damage in with the sentinel and the teemo and stuff and then have the pu the puff caps do damage and then we'll also have get excited uh, mystic shot be able to do nexus damage and aftershock all those can do nexus damage and then the hecarims finish it up so that's kind of the goal of the deck. All right, so let's get to it. Let's play some Teemo Hecarim. We'll go play our five games in ranked. We're not playing in ranked. It's random champion day. We're just playing in normal. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of, I'm used to saying that, but. All right, Ziggs Poppy. See, even though we play in normal, you still play against the top tier medic decks a lot. And as you see here, Teemo Poppy, Ziggs Poppy, <laughs> I got Teemo on the brain. Ziggs Poppy is a top tier meta deck. Um, I kind of like everything that we got. I think we're gonna keep it. The f I could see maybe we just send the foundry back because we want like all the puff caps and stuff before the foundry. I'll keep it. The thing is, is like these Bandle City decks usually have like a million cards anyway, and so we need to keep up with them cards for cards. Basically, I like the Mystic Shot as early removal. This is a good three drop. Aftershock can kill a Poppy. Let's get those Gohards back into the deck as soon as possible. gonna pass. Stone stackers. I could see them having like a pokey stick or like like a one damage thing. Alright, cool, cool. Ooh, that could be a good card. Heal my Nexus. About to be at 12. I want to see more Gohards. Wow, if ain't bad. What wondrous discoveries await below? Awesome. So we got two more Gohards in the top five that we know about. Remember, that doesn't shuffle. So we know that we're going to have two more Gohards in the top five. A missing piece? For the mushroom help. All right, so we take take two. I need to be able to cast this go hard. Oh, that hurts. Should have blocked. Man. Oh, dear. That really hurts. Should have just thrown my Teemo in front of the Inventive Chemist. I just I wasn't expecting Transfusion. That just wasn't a card necessarily on my radar. Now we'll level up Teemo. Yeah, I should have thrown the Teemo in front. Ugh, that's too bad. It we're, looks like we were just about to stabilize, but it looks like they got this. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, good game, opponent. GGs. That looks like a looks like a good deck that they have there. Yep, good game. I was too greedy. I didn't block as much. Also thinking that I wanted them to have. Uh, you know, unit in play for Withering Mist. 
I should have just blocked more. I could have, I should have just blocked all four things. So lesson learned. Lesson learned. Zed Yasuo Leona. Zed Yasuo Leona. Yep. Yep, I, I should have just blocked everything. I was too greedy with my with my keep something. Or I had the, the fleeting go hard in hand, right? Like if I block everything, all their stuff dies and I can't cast that fleeting go hard. That's what I was too greedy about. Think it fast? Cute. Can a spirit fight to the death? Thinking I'll learn soon. Play Z, play Z. Yeah. I am the blade in the darkness. Well, that worked out well. Never know what hit him. See, for a one mana card, this thing's pretty sweet. First light illuminates. Bask in the light's radiance. I think I'll just play the Foundry. We'll just get that in play. Get that thing going. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Yeah, Tila, like Aftershock, kill the... Yeah, I guess we just go Aftershock, kill the Blade Twirler. Try to keep up. Like if I would have done the the drain two from two different things, it could have like dealt two to the blade twirler, two to the Leona. And now the Leona has three health. Could play Hecarim, but they they definitely stun Hecarim. That doesn't really sound like a problem. Oh, that's more of a problem. That's not stunning, Hecarim. Sai Goomba! Gift out a sub to Nasher, so nice. Thank you so much. Keep giving them those puff caps. Okay. Robin's kind of a problem. That's the thing about Thermo Beam. Like, you know, I don't want to spend eight mana on a Thermo Beam. I'm just going to do this. Now that stuns two things. So I play this guy to block. We take six. Binding details is my duty. Unwavering strength. Oops. Six isn't too much. surprise there. I'm going to kill this thing now so now they don't have any more daybreaks. This round. Death is like the wind, always by my side. It doesn't look like I can combine these and kill both Leona and Yasuo. I'm certainly killing Yasuo. Kind of annoying as far as killing Yasuo goes. I guess. Maybe 
think we just killed this thing. I should Thermo, not Mystic Shot again. Why don't I ever use this Thermo? It's Mystic Shot I can use for the Nexus. I only have 11 Pop Caps left, though. Uh, yep, should have used Thermo. Whoa, what's up, Gohard? Forger, your work is unparalleled. Blades bright, forged in solstice heat. Glorious light rains down. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. Am I casting Vengeance? I think so. Get some more Gohards in the deck. Just on the two weakest enemies. Sorry, Teemo. Grandfather Rumel, okay, okay. That's how we're doing it. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I've always been a fun guy. Alright, so they have a lot of puff caps over there. Cool, get excited. Forger, your work is unparalleled. Blades bright, forged in solstice heat. Uh. The sun's splendor reveals. I was hope hoping to find a Vile Feast, didn't find it, so we're going to get excited our own. Like we're going to block with Spiderling, get excited it. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. Oh, that's not good. That means I have to Thermo Beam, which a means we don't get to go hard. A sword for enemies. Please no Twin Disciplines. Yes, all right, cool. They used their Twin Disciplines already. Last round, good, good, good. Hello. Hello. Ugh, Hello. all this lifesteal. I'm trying to kill you. Probably gonna spend mana to stun Teemo, which means maybe this Hecarim can get through. Mm. They, do like a in uniform. they only have 15 cards left in their deck. They grow up so each one of these is so many puff caps. And then, you know, like we have like these two cards. 
So I'm passing here because I know obviously we could attack and that's like the obvious thing to do is attack. But it looks like and you may be thinking, oh, well, they're they're holding up concussive palm. But I think they're kind of holding up hush, right? They want me to attack with this. They they hush and they get to block with the faithful. I think that's what they want. Let them draw all these puff caps. That was an average number of puff caps to draw. Hecarim for the win. All right, Hecarim for the win. Sunlight burns in our weapons. GG's. Okay, we're playing against a Senna Elise deck. So playing against a similar style deck, I guess. You know, just another control deck. I think that... Or do we even want to keep go hard? So maybe not. I think we should be okay here with, you know, peddlers and stuff. Let's send it back. I definitely want Foundry. I want Foundry and peddlers. Spirit fight to the death. I'm thinking I'll learn soon. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. Foundry. Foundry and peddlers. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. Like, are they a mystery deck? Maybe they're a mystery deck. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Elise, how about that? Let me change into something more comfortable. Oh, well, get excited! We have to discard something. So, discard the other. Get excited, or vengeance. I think we keep thermo. Obviously, we're keeping hex core. I think we, we can keep Thermo to play after this hex core. It's just whether we keep Vengeance or not. You know, like basically, Vengeance would be good against Senna, but it's still seven mana for five. Maybe we could discard. This gives me the option of like basically one of these two, either Thermo or Foundry. For this round. Ideally Foundry. Thirteen. Peddlers are just too valuable. I just don't want that. I don't want to trade with, you know, have them block with a lease and then use like a vile feast or a mystic shot to kill them. The peddlers are just so valuable. I got a good board. They're wasting more mana than me. They waste six mana. I only waste three. I think we have something 
on that case. A missing piece? Pass, pass, pass. Please pass, please don't kill. My puff cap pedlers, no. Oh man, it was a go hard. That's the card they got from Station Archivist. We know they have another go hard in the top five. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, yeah, that's really too bad. Huh. Guess I'm the big guns now. Guess I'm discarding Withering Mist. Yeah, I wanted to play. Yeah, I I wanted. Yeah, we there's no called shot. I I wanted to play called shot, but ended up cutting it. How we had to get down to 40 cards. Um, called shot would be really good with specifically Hecarim or you know or leveled up Teemo, right? But there's going to be just a lot of times where like the parallel convergence doesn't do that much. But it do, it did have potential. I wanted to play it. And basically them being able to do that at fast speed is why I didn't play um, both of those at the same time. But yeah, we know they haven't we know they have a third go hard. That wasn't the go hard we knew about. So we, we know they're about to pack your bags. We know one of these cards is a go hard. At the very so that's at least the third. They could have the fourth also. Alright, they're down to three. Probably about to go up to four. Alright, hope they draw two puff caps. It's not likely that they draw two puff caps, but I hope they do. But it's not likely they do. The most likely number of puff caps they draw is one. Oh, but here we go. Yeah, got him. Alright. They drew two. Zoe Nami. So the other... We lost to the other top tier meta deck. I guess we keep all this? Send the Investigator back. Valfies are good against Zoe. Not really good against anything else. We'll just play one. Or we'll just keep one. Because we have other cards like that. We could, I could even send to sending it back. I could even see it sending it back. We high rolled on getting Caitlyn Swain. I've I have played Caitlyn Swain one time well, previously, I I and we actually didn't do very good at all yeah, with it. So um, I'm going much more into the Caitlyn and flash bombs. Foundry here. Okay, you do Aura Glenhorn with that combo? That's yeah, Glen Glenhawk's pretty cool with flash bombs. 
get flash bombs, get him damaged, and then Glenhawk stuns. That's pretty cool. If you want to check out the list, uh, all my lists are on Mobilitics. They're going to be getting the Nexus healing in. I feel like they have Pale Cascade, right? Like, these decks basically always have Pale Cascade. Um, I think I'm going to just take the hit for two. It's just two. And then try to Mystic Shot afterwards. Because I think they're going to be able to save this. Okay, and if it was Mystic Shot, I would take an additional point, but it's it's that card. That levels up Teemo. I guess maybe the play was to do was to Mystic Shot one and then have Teemo block the other. But then they could Pale Cascade and kill my Teemo. So then it, we would shoot the other one. Gonna be tough to win against Nami, and we're giving them more spells. I don't think we're winning this game just because Nami was Sparklefly. We need like vengeance for the Sparklefly. Any of the play is Hecker open attack Hecarim? No. Oh, Nami's not leveled up. I was kind of under the assumption Nami leveled up because, you know, it usually is leveled up. But that's right, it's not. It's not granting plus two, plus one. Just plus one, plus zero. What spell did they get from me? That levels up Nami. The Mirai will never know fear again. I think the play is the Chump Womp with the Mushroom Clouds. It's not attack... I don't think the play is attacking... Letting them block the Sparkle Fly. I think we have to get lucky and have them draw nine Puff Caps. In, with three cards. Man, that's gonna be real lucky. Of course, I can also draw burn spells. Right, we can draw mystic shots, get excited. They average just a tad over two puff caps per card, and I need them to draw like three puff caps per card. Good start. Bad start. Good start. Really bad, are you kidding me? They only drew three total puff caps? Each card had more than two. They only drew three total. Hey, 
Wow, they only drew three total. If only they just drew four. We had these two. They only just drew four. Which, on average, with three cards, they should have drawn a little over six. Like, close to seven. We only need them to draw four. That's still negative one. Oh, because then that buff goes over there. Sparklefly with Nami is ridiculous. <laughs> I've won a lot of games with Sparklefly Nami, but it's it's really rough. Yeah, I mean we're dead. I mean we're we're just dead. All they have to do is play any spell, and obviously they have lots and lots of spells. Just don't need to waste time. Alright, Teemo Caitlyn. So we've lost to the two meta decks, but we've played very close games, but... You know, we've ended up losing the two meta decks. They're also a foundry deck, so I want to mulligan foundry. We need get excited to kill... I guess we just mulligan this also. We need three damage spells, because killing... It's all about killing Caitlyn and Peddler. They just had too many sparkle flies. You know, we killed one sparkle fly, but they had two others. It, the three sparkle flies. And then, you know, obviously we got really unlucky with um Officer J S Hawkjaw. What's it called? With the puff caps there at the end. On average they should have drawn over six. And we just needed them just simply. We need them just to draw four. And they should have drawn over six, and they should have drawn one. Carry on. Mm. Entering crime scene. They're on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Armed and ready. Alright, cool, cool. Worked out. What about playing Station Archivist here? We have three extra mana with Station Archivist. That's always a good number to have. We're going to go this route instead. So we get five pup caps. Whoops. It doesn't add up. Yes. But we got that. Push on without me. So what were the other two cards? Mystic Shot and Withering Whale? Withering thing? We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. I got ways to find me mushrooms. You don't really mind discarding the vengeance too much. 
I'm going to need to kill that thing, so I have a mystic shot coming. Let's play this. I'm gonna get excited. Let's take the mystic shot. Let me get you that file. That would have been great for my Withering Mist, right? Like Withering Mist, but those two. That's kind of what I was going for. Ooh. They probably have fast speed deal point damage, right? Probably. But we'll we'll test them. Force them to have it. So it could be like Mystic Shot. Yeah, that now they don't get to play this poison dart. That's not the worst thing. Wait up. Okay, next round we're gonna have how much mana? Eight mana? Nine total. So okay, now ten. So I do that, then I can also have Hecarim, and I can have 3 damage for Peddler slash Caitlyn. So that should be 2 Gohards. I'd rather play the Thermo Beam, but... On that. But I want to kill it right away so yeah like they use more mana and stuff like that before Hecarim like because if I play Hecarim here then they can like use removal spells on Hecarim Hecarim coming up big in the Teemo Hecarim deck. Alright, that thing's gonna be a 4 4 now. 4 4 is annoying. Cool. Gotta go hard in the top 5. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Alright, right, this works out pretty well. And then we'll use the go hard to finish off the peddler. We're playing a peddler mirror where my opponents played two peddlers. And then a bunch of mushroom clouds after the peddlers. And I've played zero peddlers. So you'd think that would be pretty bad for me. But we have Hecarim. Hecarim pretty good. And we also have Nexus healing with our drain. All right, GG's. Didn't quite finish him out with the burn. All right, good. As long as we didn't draw 14 puff caps there. Hecarim for lethal. Good game. All right, so that was our Teemo Hecarim deck. I have to say that I think that that deck felt pretty competitive. Uh, you know, we lost it to two top-tier meta decks, but both games were really close. 
And so that's, I think that's a good showing that, you know, like it was really, you know, they were definitely competitive games for sure. And then we won against uh, all three of the other not so meta decks that we played against. So pretty cool. I, I think that the Shadow Isles with Teemo and with Peddler and with Hexcore Foundry looked pretty good. Station Archivist was awesome. Station Archivist Go Hard looked awesome. Um, you know, like, like that whole thing looks really good. And then we just had Hecarim as our other champion, and we saw that Hecarim attacks for a lot. You know, it brings nine power into play attacking. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of power. So it's a pretty good top-end card. Uh, Withering Mist also looked good. So I liked it. I think that this this really did feel like a pretty competitive deck. Burgeoning Sentinel was cool. All right, so that's Teemo Hecarim. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of Teemo Hecarim. I, I do think this could be a pretty competitive deck. Try it out yourself. Let me know in the comment section. Um, always love hearing whenever people say, oh, I tried this deck, I liked it, you know, that kind of stuff. So let me know. But that's going to be it for this deck. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.